From perfectly preserved mummies to an actual Iceman named Otzi found in the Otzel Alps, and what looks like a frozen lake of blood like water, to three small mummies found at the icy summit of a stratovolcano in the Atacama Desert. This is the scariest archaeological discoveries ever found in ice. If recent news is anything to go by, archaeological discoveries found in ice can be horrifying. What makes it so? Well, for one, the ice tends to preserve some of these discoveries so well that they look lifelike and not date at least 1,500 years. Several discoveries have been made in the ice. Some are thrilling, some are incredible, and others are just scary. What's scarier than the discoveries? The stories behind these discoveries. From little children to zombie diseases, many scary discoveries have been found in ice, and today, we take a look at 10 of them. Number 10, Mummy Head. In 2017, archaeologists discovered mummies buried in the Zeleniyar burial site, located near the Russian town of Selikard. They found two mummies, one of which was an adult woman, and the other which was a baby. These mummies are estimated to be 900 years old and are believed to be part of an unknown medieval culture. Intriguingly, she is the only female mummy in the burial ground, leading some to believe she was an elite member of society. It is also exciting and creepy that only her head has been preserved, with her hair and eyelashes still visible on her head, as well as a green tint to her face caused by the copper she was buried in. Number 9. Bloody Looking Water Antarctica is full of mysteries, and Blood Falls is one of them. It flows from Taylor Glacier onto the surface of Lake Bonnie and was found in 1911 by Australian geologist Griffith Taylor. Taylor ascribed the blood to red algae, and even he was freaked out by the bloody water. It was a decent assumption, but the blood is seawater polluted with a high concentration of iron oxide. So, yes, Blood Falls is just rusty water cascading from a glacier, but it is still terrifying. Number 8. An Entire Mountain Range The subglacial gun ports of the mountain range located in East Antarctica and was found by Soviet geologists Gregory Gun Bortsev are estimated to be the same size as the Alps, towering nearly 9,000 feet above sea level and stretching for approximately 750 miles. Although you cannot see the mountains themselves because they are buried beneath 2,000 feet of ice, the notion of a whole mountain range being buried beneath 2,000 feet of ice is very upsetting. The world is a fantastic place. Number 7. Sacrificed Incan Children In 1999, three mummies were discovered at the icy summit of Uoyaco, a stratovolcano located in the Atacama Desert. These mummies are known as the children of Uoyaco and may be the best preserved mummies in the entire world. Virgins of the Sun were well known throughout the Inca Empire. Chronicles record that a special group was chosen each year to serve the Sun God. One of the bodies is that of a teenage girl. The other two are children believed to be around six or seven years old. Archaeologists wondered if they should be concerned that they might wake these mummies up because they appeared to be very much alive. It's assumed that they were the victims of a human sacrifice meant to ensure a plentiful harvest and that they were killed around 1,500 years ago. They were heavily drugged with alcohol and cocoa and then placed five feet underground while asleep and left to die. A combination of the freezing temperatures and arid air has helped preserve their bodies for centuries. Their attractiveness was one of the factors that led to their selection and in some cases, their parents may have offered them as well. Good looks could take you places, even in the future. Number 6. Mexican Climbers On March 1st, on the north side of Pico de Orizaba, a mummified body was discovered by hikers. The authorities were called in, and two more frozen mummies were eventually found. A climber on the Pico de Orizaba slopes slid and came face to face with a mummified head and arm jutting from the snow during an effort to collect a mummified body buried in the snow on Mexico's tallest peak. 
an 81-year-old man named Luis Espinoza declared he knew the mummies as he shuffled. He identified one of the mummies in the snow from the shirt he wore and the ring with his initials. It's undoubtedly good for Luis to finally have some peace, but imagine being the person who discovered a mummified skull poking out of the snow in the middle of winter. Spooky. Number 5. The Remains of Andre's Arctic Expedition When Swedish balloonist S. A. Andre set out to reach the North Pole by hot air balloon in the late 19th century, many people thought that it was a terrible idea. Still, his optimism and nationalistic pride caused him to ignore their warnings. The other two members of the expedition were Knut Frankel and Nils Strindberg. The three men perished during the expedition. After Andre, Strindberg, and Frankel launched their balloon from Svalbard in July 1897, the balloon soon ran out of gas and fell on pack ice after just two days in the air. Even though the explorers were uninjured, they had difficulty walking back south through the shifting ice scape ahead of them. They did not make it to safety because they were not appropriately dressed, equipped, or prepared, and because they were taken aback by the complexity of the terrain. As the Arctic winter closed in on them in October, the gang found itself weary on the uninhabited island of Kivitoya, White Island in Svalbard, where they eventually died. The expedition's fate remained a mystery for 33 years. The accidental discovery of the expedition's last camp in 1930 sparked a media frenzy in Sweden, where the men who died had been mourned and admired. Included in the discovery was a photographic film that had been preserved, allowing us to see the catastrophe firsthand, including photographs of the fallen balloon. Number 4. Victims of Rainbow Valley Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain. Since Edmund Hillary became the first to reach the summit in 1953, 4,000 people have followed, although many do not return. It is estimated that 300 individuals perished while attempting to climb the peak. Because of the hazardous conditions, rescuing their bodies is too dangerous, and most have just been left where they are. Green Boots are Tsewang Palyor, an Indian climber who perished in 1996 has even become a monument. Because of the conspicuous, vividly colored garments of the deceased, the trek to the summit of Everest is frequently referred to as Rainbow Valley or Rainbow Ridge. They're just laying there in the ice, trapped in time. Number 3. Otzi the Iceman Otzi, popularly known as the Iceman, is a natural mummy of a man who lived between 3350 and 3105 BC and was discovered in the Otzel Alps on the border between Austria and Italy in September 1991. Otzi is the oldest known human mummy. Because of an arrowhead embedded in his left shoulder and other wounds, it is assumed that Otzi was killed. The circumstances of his death and the character of his life have been the subject of considerable research and discussion. The mummy was discovered by German visitors who were strolling along a mountain route in the Earth-style Alps when they found the upper half of the mummy protruding out of the ice on the mountain. Otzi's slender, discolored, and leathery-looking body is exhibited at Italy's South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology. You might want to see it when you hear number four. Number two, viruses. In December 2016, a remote community in Siberia experienced a mysterious outbreak that resulted in the hospitalization of 90 people and the death of a 12-year-old boy. One of the major concerns about global warming is that it could release unknown pathogens into the air, some of which may potentially hinder and endanger humanity seriously. In 2015, researchers from China and the United States came to Tibet's Gulian ice cap and dug a 164-foot hole into the ice to collect samples. They discovered no less than 33 viruses, 28 of which had never been seen by human eyes before. Scientists are concerned that when permafrost melts, it will expose many illnesses that we believed were under control. Number 1. World War I Soldiers During World War I, 
The Allies fiercely battled the Astro-Hungarian Empire along the snowy mountains of the Alps. It was grueling. Living in extreme temperatures is unpleasant, let alone fighting in it. Thousands upon thousands of soldiers were killed by avalanches and the frigid temperatures, which sometimes dipped to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit during World War I. In the early 2010s, the mountain ice began to melt and deposited long-lost frozen artifacts around the area. These included weapons, still legible love letters, and dozens of mummified corpses. It's a horrifying symbol of war. All the love letters that didn't make it past the snow. Think of how different things would be if they did. And if you enjoyed this video, we have another like it of the world's scariest archaeological discoveries ever found that I'm sure you will enjoy watching. Be sure to watch this one next.